In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the way a address appears on your reports without having to use Studio. All we're going to do is type in or go to our contacts application. We're going to go to configurations, countries, and we'll type in the United States. And we see all of the information here about the United States. If we go into debug mode, here so after our web we're gonna say debug equals one we're gonna see some more settings appear and here we have our layout in reports for our address as you can see it has street street 2 city state code zip and country name you can add static text here or remove some of these fields if you didn't want to see them so if we didn't want our country name to appear, if we're only working in the United States for some reason and we don't want to see country name, or if we wanted to make sure our street and um, apartment number is on the same line, we can do that as well. So now when we print reports, it's going to say our street with whatever um, our second street is, so our apartment or building number, our city, state code, and zip code. Or if you wanted to make this, uh, you know, add static text, we can add static, te static text. Maybe we add a phone number or um, anything you'd like. Let's just add a test. We can now view a report. So first, let's go into this customer. We can say apartment two. And we can print our report. And this is going to be global across the entire database. We now see that the United States was removed and the apartment 2 is on one line with the address here. You can even change if we just wanted to say the full state instead of um, NJ, if you wanted to say New Jersey, or if you wanted to add a comma here. You can do all of these things editing that um, localization. United States report. Again, just to get there, you just go to contacts, configurations, countries, United States, or any country that you're working on, and you can edit the address here. You can also select whether or not the customer name is before or after the address. So as you can see here, it's before the address, but if you wanted to have it after, you can do that as well. 